I, I don't know. How am I supposed to get this on the trailer? I'm like really confused. Fasten tension belt. Excuse me. Do you know how I'm supposed to get this uh, bale on my trailer? Hello? No, you don't have any idea? Just you want me to get the hell out of your way? Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll get out of your way. Okay, well that's pretty much it for the baling. Um, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with this 69% grass that's in my baler. Um, so let's turn it off. And yeah, I don't I don't know uh, what the deal is with that. Is there a way that you can get it out of there? Or not sure. Okay, well, anyway, I guess we'll leave that in there. And now we need to come back with our trailer and our forklift thingy and load these guys up. And hopefully we can get to this one bale that went off into the toolies here. I think we probably can. Yeah, we should be able to get to that. All right, so let's go get our lift. Okay, so let's attach to our lift here. And also our trailer. Nice. That is a nice long trailer. We should be able to get a lot of bales on that. Ah. I'll tell you what, you guys, I am just having a ball playing this game. I know <laughs> I didn't know I completely, uh, I don't know if butchered's the word. I mean, I got the job done on the hayfield, but it wasn't pretty, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm just having fun doing this. So, you know, like anything else, the more we do it, the better we'll get at it. Um, I, I'm a little bit bummed that the, the Baylor animation stopped working you know I mean not a big deal but it was just so cool to see that happen the first time around and um, you know maybe there's I don't know maybe they'll come out with a patch to fix that or something or if you guys know of a trick to to fix it let me know because I don't know it's just really cool to see that but you know it's not not a deal breaker by any stretch of the imagination but still I think after we finish this job, too, we probably better clean our, our tractor up. It's looking pretty dirty. All right, let's stop here. Anybody coming that way? Uh, yeah, we got a car coming this way, so let's wait for them. Oh, nope, they turned. Okay. Uh, we are going to be loading this on a bit of a hillside, too, so that's going to be fun. Maybe we can park our trailer down lower where it's somewhat flat. Yeah, kind of maybe down in this area here. Um, all right, this thing's gonna be fun to back up because it's a it's a dolly trailer. Um, crap. You know what? We're leaving it right there. <laughs> We're just gonna leave it right here. Okay, so let's uh, drop the trailer off. Okay, so now uh, unfold bale loader and I guess that's all we have to do with it, right? So I, I think what we do is we just drive up to the bale like so how do I... Shouldn't I be lowering this, though? Oh. I didn't know that would do that. Toggle crew, select next tool, honk. 
Oh, we're not on the... Wait, what? There we go. Okay. There we go. V, lower. V is the lower key. Okay, no, don't be doing that. <laughs> oh, boy. This is going to be fun. All right, here. I think we got to really line up with these to get it to work right. Is it easier to do it this way? Yeah, probably not. Okay, let's see if we can swing it this way a little bit. Okay, now lower this down. There we go. Look at that. We got it. Okay, excuse me, car. All right, let's go grab an another one. I hope that stays on there. Okay, lower this down. There we go. Look at us in our bad bail loading self. I think that, whoops, no. No, no, go back up. I think that's all we can do is just two at a time, I, I think. All right, now the question is, how do we get these on the trailer? Or does that, the game kind of do that for us? Oh, crap. <laughs> Whoops. Um, that wasn't good. No, don't roll away. Oh, for goodness sakes. All right, you know what? Let's just, let's just try one. You know, doing this on this hill is a lot harder than it might appear. Okay, so... How in the hell do I get this on the trailer? <laughs> um... Houston? If we back out... Cut open bale. Objects too heavy. Yeah, you don't say. I, I don't know. How am I supposed to get this on the trailer? I'm like really confused. Fasten tension belt. Excuse me. Do you know how I'm supposed to get this uh, bale on my trailer? Hello? No, you don't have any idea? Just you want me to get the hell out of your way? Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll get out of your way. Um... Yeah. All right, guys. I'm a little confused. A little confused here, not going to lie. I mean, I can lift... Whoop. I can lift it up, but... That guy's honking at me. That's funny. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Am I supposed to just haul the bales in this directly? And, okay, let me, let's try something else. Let's go back and get this other one. Man, I'm such a noob. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying yourself at my expense. All right, what we're going to do is lower... Let's see if we can pick this other one up. No, come on, man. Just slide in there. Don't be doing this to me. Now I'm going to lose both of them. Okay. No, go up. There we go. Okay. Lift. All right. Now, here, let's back down because I don't want to lose these because we're on the, on the hill here. What does that mean exactly? Oh! 
Oh, oh, okay. So we we can hold the mouse button down. Interesting. That increases the width of these things. We should have <laughs> bought that other bail loader thingy instead. Okay, now if I if I get right up to here, what happens if I try and fold this? Alright, so that gets them up higher. But how do I get them on the trailer? Maybe I'm not supposed to. Maybe I'm I'm just supposed to haul them straight up with this and I I don't use the trailer. Oh my goodness, I am like batting a thousand here, you guys. Seriously. Slow down, mister. Yeah, I don't see any way to get these on here. So maybe we were supposed to get like a forklift or something. Oh man, all right. Tell you what we're gonna do. Let's put these bales somewhere flat-ish. Cause I'm gonna we're gonna go back to the store and see if there's like a uh you know some kind of claw lift thing a doodle that we can put these on the trailer with. Cause we bought this trailer, man. I want to use it. All right, so let's lower this. And then um, unfold the baler, or yeah, bale loader thingy. It says bale loader. That would seem to indicate that it loads bales onto something. Hey, get out of here. Make them wider? See, now I can't get rid of the doggone thing. Seriously? All right. Where are we supposed to take these? Here, let's look at that. Let's go to our contract thingy. Um, take the bales to the animal dealer. We're 20, <laughs> only 20% we're done. Oh, for goodness sakes. All right, you know what? Let's do this. Let's pick this back up then. We might as well at least take two of these to the animal dealer while we're at it, right? Uh, all right, let's let's make this a little wider. No, it's just not quite wanting to behave. But then I can't get that other one uh, to come off. Anyway, okay, just ease it in like this. Okay, back up a little bit. No, don't lose that one. Oh, for goodness' sakes, really? This is terrible. I'm not. Uh, I'm not getting off to a good start with my haying career. I'm just. I'm just gonna throw that out there. You guys are going. You. Th you think? <laughs> oh no! Come on, man. That was close enough. You like? There's like no margin for error here. These are as wide as they'll go. There we go. There we go. No, no, no. <laughs> you son of a. All right, here. Lift this up. Now, can we push this back over? There we go. Okay. Now, just back straight up. Lower it down and go straight forward. Really? Come on, man. You're killing me here. You're killing me, Smalls. I hate this thing. <laughs> I really am starting to hate this thing. We should have just spent the money and gotten the actual bail loader thingy. Oh, come on, man. No, I'm mad. We're just going to run this right into the bowling alley. <laughs> we lost both of them. All right, screw this. Absolutely screw this. We're going back to the store and we're going to buy a claw thingy that we can pick that stuff up with. This is bullshit. 
All right, guys, we are back at the shop, and uh, let's take a look and see oh, what we're missing here. So, I mean, bail loaders, it seems to me like this is, should be the place to go, but none of this stuff is really what we're looking for. We need something that will lift the bales up onto a trailer. So, obviously, that is not what we're looking for. So, what else? Uh, would it be front loaders, maybe? All right. So these are, these are just the actual front loader mechanism. But I think we need to have skid steer loader tools. Uh, that doesn't really seem to be what we're looking for either. I already looked at front, oh, front loader tools. Uh, here we go. A bale spike. I think this is the thing we need here. Or a bale handler. Or a round bale fork. Those are bag lifters. Yeah, okay. So I think these are what we want. So this this looks like it kind of clamps around the bale and lifts it up. About 1700 bucks. This is just kind of scoops it up from down below, and that's sixteen hundred bucks. This seems like there's a whole lot more to this than this, but there this is only a hundred dollars cheaper. But I think this is really what we're after. This is the bale spike, and I think it just pokes right into the bales, and you can lift them up onto what you want to do, and it's pretty cheap too. Um, but if we're gonna get this, I think we need to get the front end loader. Uh, attachment as well okay so uh yeah let's buy this uh buy all right and then we want to buy the bale spike this is cheap this one's only six six hundred bucks i'm pretty sure this is going to do the trick for us all right uh, hope, hopefully that's that's what we needed. Uh, I I managed to tip over my <laughs> my thing here too, uh, but we could probably use this to flip it back over. And I don't know if we ever really need this at all. We should probably just sell the dumb thing. I'm gonna leave it there for now though, because again, that's not what I thought it was. Okay, so let's go over here. Very nice. Okay. And then we should be able to just pick up the spike by driving up to it. Excellent. All right. Now, um, so it looks like there's just the left. Oh, okay. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So we can just move the mouse forward and back to lift and left and right to tilt that's pretty easy to do okay so now let's see if we can flip our mower back over there we go nice okay let's lift this up and head on back over to our field and get those bales loaded up Okay, let's go into this view, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think we can just spear these things, right? Yeah, that's easy. Okay. Nope, oh, I didn't check to see if anyone was coming. All right, so let's make sure that's up high enough. All right, now if we lower it down, we want to pull it back a little bit too. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. 
Here, let's go. <laughs> that guy's gonna start honking at us here in a second. Okay, and then I'm getting used to these controls. And there we go. All right, that works pretty good. Go ahead. Oh, dude, that was your fault. You drove into my. S <laughs> you drove into my spike. I didn't do that. All right, now I we should be able to spear both of these guys, right? Um, let's get that up a little bit. And it looks like we need to go down a little more on this one, too. Okay, and then raise this up. And then we'll back around and get this one. Uh, no, we gotta go down a little more. And maybe... Yeah, right about there. Okay. Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay, back up. I don't really have the other one speared really good, so I think that's part of the issue. Okay, and then if we do this and pull back. Okay. This is not <laughs> this is not pretty, but we're getting it done, you guys. It's not pretty, but we're getting it done. Okay, so pull back to raise up. That doggone tree's in the way. Oh, no, no, don't push that one off. Is this better? Yeah, this might actually be better in first-person view. Uh, because that tree's in the way. Okay, now, I need to go back to third person, though, because I'm not sure. All right, back up just a little bit. Lower these down and uh, go this way. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, man, this is bad. This is so bad, you guys. <laughs> All right. We got another car coming. Watch out. Crazy greenhorn farmer here with sharp things, sharp pointy things sticking out the front of the tractor. Stay far away. All right, so let's lower this down. And that, probably we want it right about there-ish. All right, that was a pretty good stab. Raise that up. I really seriously hope the owner of this field's not watching us right now. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Okay. Uh, come down. All right. Now raise up like that and up like that. There we go. Okay. I hope, you know, once we strap these that the... Uh, That'll kind of maybe straighten them out a little bit. Okay, let's get into first person here. Um, can I raise those up even higher? Oh, wow, yeah, you can really raise them up. Okay. Let's back up. This way. We, sh <laughs> we, sh we should have gotten the, the Baylor picker upper thingy. We just should have done it, man. Then we wouldn't have to mess with this, but... Oh, well. We got to learn, right? So... Okay, now let's back up a little bit this way. Go forward this way a little and then to here. All right. Now, come down. Actually, yeah, we got to come back this way. And let yeah, let's zoom out a little bit so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, so... I'm hitting the other bale. Oh, it's moving the whole trailer. Okay. <laughs> okay, here. Put this here. Well, we got him on there. We got him on there, by golly. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh... Okay, let's go grab some more. There we go. That's the best one yet, man. Okay, let's go. No, you slow down, bud. You're gonna have to wait. Uh, whoop, that one's not down far enough. There we go. All right. We're getting a little bit better each time, and I do mean a little bit. <laughs> Dude, you're gonna have to go around. Sorry. Otherwise, stay there like a dummy. I don't care. <laughs> okay, one last bail, guys. Woo-wee. Let's bring it back a little bit so it doesn't fall off. This guy's like really dumb. He, <laughs> how come he's not driving around? Dude. Pull your head out, man. Just drive around. Don't be stupid. Oh, okay. This is downright embarrassing. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just going to throw that out there, you guys. This is so embarrassing. But, you know, you got to laugh about it, because if you don't, then you get... What's the alternative, right? Okay, so now we can actually push that over a little bit, which I think is probably a good thing. And then let's level that out and bring this down. And then... Oh! Okay, hold, hold on. I think we need to bring it down a little more. There we go. Okay. <laughs> we got the biggest traffic jam in the world here. Oh, man. Okay. So, <laughs> let's go over here. How am I even going to hitch my trailer up if you guys don't get out of the way? Stupids? Okay. Now, here's the thing. Can I... Can I s strap... Uh, uh. Oh. Wait. What? Oh, I didn't mean to get back in there. Okay. Here. Turn that off. Get out of here. Now, can I strap these in place, or are they too <laughs> are they too messed up? I'm sorry. I just chill out. Okay, how do I activate this? Uh, R, fasten tension belt. Um, okay. This is not going to look pretty. I'm just going to throw that out there. <laughs> this is so not going to look pretty. Oh, my word. Is there another belt here? Yeah, right here. Okay. And how about here? Lord have mercy. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know if those are going to stay on there or not, you guys. <laughs> I really don't. Ooh, this might work. Dude, if I scratch your paint, it's your fault, not mine. Yeah, it's not letting me uh, get close enough to hitch it. Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay, um, what do we do about this situation? <laughs> Can I move him out of the way? Oh, 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 there we go. Okay, we got it, we got it. That's going to scratch his... <laughs> going to scratch his vehicle. You guys seriously need to go back to driving school, man. I mean, seriously. All right, let's go back to the contract for a second. 
Take the bales to animal dealer. Okay, so animal dealer. That's where we got to go. Places. Animal dealer, right there. Okay. All right, so we got to we gotta take it all the way over there. Wow, that's a, a, a bit of a trek. So we should be able to just get back here on, on this road and then take this road all the way up to to uh, here and then, yeah, over that way, I guess. Okay, so I think I know what we're doing. All right. Man, I, <laughs> I hope those bales stay on there. That's so bad. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, here we go. I mean, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. We got him strapped out as best as we could. Now, I, I could have used the tractor. Oh, no, don't hit the stop sign. That's all we need. I could have used the tractor to kind of bump him and make him a little straighter, but... I just, uh, I just kind of want to get this job done. <laughs> okay. We should probably put our beacon lights on just in case, you know. Are we going to clear this overpass? Yeah, we, we're fine. Whew, what a deal, man. Everybody staying on? <laughs> yep, okay. There's no smooth turning on these things. It's just all on or all off. The digital controls, you got to love them. There's probably some law against driving down a highway with two spikes sticking out the front of your vehicle, but hopefully no cops come by. <laughs> Alright, let's get into this view so we can... Everything's still there. It's a miracle. All right, I think that little blue marker over there is where we're supposed to drop these off. Are we... Oh, there's a ditch! Uh, whoops! <laughs> yeah, there's a ditch there. I'm gonna break my dolly. All right, I'm, I guess, I'm guessing we have to offload these, which we can do, you know, it's not that big a deal. Okay, so let's hop out of here and undo the straps. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I hope that doesn't screw me up. Oh, come on, game. I was looking at the frickin' strap, man, come on. Are you kidding me? All right. Well, <laughs> I I hope that uh, I hope that it'll still count. <laughs> oh man! Hopefully the quest kept track that I'd already wrapped them. Oh, got it. Nothing's ever easy. Okay. So let's get out. Get this down here. All right, that looks like a pretty good level there. Oh, okay, well, hey, that's one way to do it, right? Can you actually tip these down enough to set them on their end? Oh, he did take it, and you can do that. Oh, I didn't know it went down that far. Okay. That's good. Can we, okay, can we stab these suckers from the side? And There's no reason why we shouldn't be able to.
Well, you have to hit it from the side OG if that's what you actually want to do. Seriously? Alright, raise that up. There. <laughs> you get my forks off the ground. Contract on field 19 finished, and we get $137 bonus. It's not finished, though. Why does it keep finishing it when it's not done? Is it, like, giving us extra? It didn't give us a specific bale count. Does that mean these extra bales are ours, then? Uh... Why does it do that? I don't understand. I guess these extra bales are ours. So if we wanted to sell them, do we just drop them off too and then we get money for it? Let's just see what happens here. So right now we have Two hundred sixty-three thousand seven hundred and thirty-seven dollar make you holla. So can we just drop this off here? Yeah, we just made five hundred seventy-four bucks from selling that bale. Really? And that's okay? <laughs> that was from that dude's field. I guess he's giving it to us as a bonus. I don't know. I mean, I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, but I also don't want to be seen as dishonest. I'm new around these parts, and I need people to trust me. See that guy over there? Hope he trusts me. All right. Well, let's go grab the last one here. 574 bucks. Nice. See, now, if we had a road hay field and we did that, not all that money would be ours. All right, well, let's grab our trailer, take it back to the machine shop, and then we got to go get our windrower, too. Uh, but, guys, I think I'm going to do that off camera. Um, so that is the end of episode two. It was an interesting episode, we'll say. <laughs> Woo, boy, was that rough. But, hey, we got the work done. Um, you may have noticed, too, that I got the time set to one um, because, it's, I don't know, it just seems to me like... The slower the time goes by, the more we can get done. So I'm, I'm pro I'll probably adjust that up and down as needed. Like, for example, when we sleep at night, you know, then I'll fast forward it kind of thing. But during the day while we're working, I seems to me like it would be best. Oh, 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 crap. I thought they were going to walk right out from the road. Hey, cut it out. Um, anyway, <laughs> I wonder if we can... Um, I can't remember what I was going to say. Oh, I, it seems to me like it's better to slow the time down while you're working during the day so you can get as much done and make as much money as possible. So if I'm missing something on that, you know, let me know in the comments if you don't mind. But I'm going to let you guys go here. I'm going to get all the stuff back to the shop. And then in the next episode, we will do the next thing. Uh, I want to look at, at buying some property. So we still have $264,000. And we have purchased all of our haying equipment. Well, I should say silo equipment. If we want to do hay, we're going to need a non-wrapping baler, because I don't know if we can turn that thing off. And we're also going to need a, uh, a, t a tether. 
So we still are looking at two more pieces of equipment to do hay itself, but we could start by just doing silage for a while, you know, and, and worry about hay later once we make a little more money. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, but I'm going to look around and uh, decide what uh, farm, you know, farm or land I want to buy uh, to start with. It can't be too terribly expensive because we don't want to spend all of our money. And we do have the bank we have to pay back at some point, too, so there's that. And then, uh, so hopefully in the ne next episode, we will purchase our first land that we can call our own and start working it. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know it was a comedy of errors, but it was fun, too. And I hope you guys enjoyed it and it, <laughs> it didn't exasperate you too much. Uh, I'll get better. Uh, that's all I can do is just get better, right? Um, oh, no, this isn't where we're going. I will definitely get better as time goes on. you got to remember, this is the first time I've ever played any farm sim game and just not used to the controls. I know that I'm overcorrecting on the tractor steering, but it's it's one thing to know that. It's another thing to not do it. You know what I'm saying? So we'll get, we'll get better as time goes on. That's all I can say. So, guys, I'm going to let you go here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video, and we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.